Hello friends, welcome to the world of maths by MEA. There is a question in front of us. If n is the least natural number, which one should add in the given expression 3 raised to power 30 plus 335 plus 339 to make a perfect cube? Then we need to find what is the value of n. We need to work on a perfect cube. So first understand the concept, then apply the concept in the question. The concept is quite simple. We just know x plus y whole cube because we are looking for a perfect cube. So we need to work on x plus y whole cube is nothing but x cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube. I hope this one is clear. x is equal to 3a and y is equal to 3b in the expression. We can say 3a plus 3b raised to power cube is a perfect cube and the expression shows it is nothing but 3a whole cube plus 3 into 3a whole square into 3b plus 3 into 3a 3b whole square plus 3b whole cube and this is nothing but 3 raised to power 3a plus 3 raised to power 2a plus b plus 1 this expression is nothing but 3 raised to power a plus 2b plus 1 and the last expression is 3 raised to power 3b i hope this one is clear to understand it better let's put a is 2 and b is 5 in this expression we will say 3 raised to power 6 that is 2 6 plus 3 raised to power that is 4 plus 5 plus 1 is 10 plus 3 raised to power 13 plus 3 raised to power 15. If we put a equal to 2, b equal to 5, we will get this expression. I hope this one is clear. Now, you need to understand two or three things. First is, the least power and the greatest power both are the multiple of 3. That is 3a and 3b. This is quite simple. What is the gap between the powers? You need to know this one. That is gap is nothing but 4, 3, 2. So we understand two things. The least power and the greatest power is divisible by 3. And the gap is in the decreasing order of 1. 4, 3, 2. If the first gap is 10, then 10, 9, 8. If 6, then 6, 5, 4. I hope this one is clear. But the most important thing is how do we solve the questions? And what should be our approach to find the least number? So step 1. Just remember the step 1. Check largest power. Okay. Is it divisible by 3 or not? If this one is divisible by 3, we apply a different approach. If this one is not divisible by 3, we apply a different. If the largest power is divisible by 3, work backward to find the least number. If the largest power is not divisible, work forward to get the least number. Okay. Check with example, 3 raised to power 15 plus 3 raised to power 20 plus 3 raised to power 24. Which number we should add to make a perfect cube? Just check the largest power. Largest power is divisible by 3. So we need to work backward. What is a gap? Gap is 5. Gap is 4. So next gap should be 3. But we need to work backward. And what is the backward gap? 4, 5, 6. So this number is nothing but 3 raised to power 9. 9 and 15 gap is 6. This one is the least number. Or we can work forward also. Forget about this. 15, 20, 24. That is 5, 4. The next gap would be 3. 3 raised to power 27 is the number. But we are looking for the least number. So answer is 3 raised to power 9. So this is also a cube. And this one is also a cube. But the least number is 3 raised to power 9. So I am again repeating. If your largest power is divided by 3 then backward if not divided 3 then forward for the sake of practice i'm solve, going to solve three questions you need to solve two questions okay okay we have three questions in front of us we need to find the find the least natural number we should add to make a perfect cube check the last power last power is 43 is not divisible so we need to move forward the gap is 10 gap is 9 gap should be 8 that is nothing but 3 raised to power 51 is our least number we should add in this to make a perfect cube. I hope this one is clear. Check here. It is what? Largest power is divided by 3. So we need to work backward. 
here gap is 8 here the gap is 7 we should go for the gap is 6 but we are increasing the number so we move backward gap is 7 gap is 8 then the previous gap is 9 so the least number is nothing but 3 raised to power 36 and this is the least number we can move again gap is 6 that is 3 raised to power 66 but 3 raised to power 66 is not the least number so our answer is 3 raised to power 36 if the largest power is multiple of 3 move backward take question number 3 that is 14 is not divisible so move forward gap is 3 gap is 2 next gap should be 1 that is nothing but 3 raised to power 5 I hope this one is clear now solve two questions okay you have two questions in front of you suggestions are same pause the video and solve the questions I hope you have solved the question now check the answer the largest power of 3 that is 21 is divisible so we need to work on backward gap is 2 gap is 1 so next gap should be 0 there is no need to work forward if this one is divisible we need to work backward that is 1 2 gap should be 3 with the 3 gap the least number is nothing but 3 raised to power 15 if we add 3 raised to power 15 in this expression we will get a perfect cube I hope this one is clear what is the answer for the same the largest power is not divisible by 3 so we need to work forward gap is 7 gap is 6 so next gap would be of 5 that is with the 5 gap 73 becomes 78 and these are least terms I hope this one is clear now solve our question now our question is 3 raised to power 30 plus 3 raised to power 35 plus 3 raised to power 39 and we need to make a perfect cube by adding least number the largest power is divided by 3 so we need to work backward the gap is 5 the gap is 4 so the previous gap should be 6 and with the gap of 6 we need 30 so this would be 3 raised to power 24 so our answer is 3 raised to power 24 is the least number I hope this one is clear but still if you have any doubt I would suggest feel free to ping me either on this video thread or on Facebook. Thank you and happy learning.